this is such an unusual, rare event that I just hope so many teachers are prepared because it's going to be such an amazing thing. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. Love you. Bye. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Well, I am going to school today because I have an interview. But the interview is not for me. We are actually interviewing a, another teacher for the open fifth grade position. It's me and another teacher who teach fifth grade, just two classes at our school. And the other fifth grade position is open. One of my best friends, Sylvia, she taught fifth grade side by side with me for the past five years, the first five years that I taught at West Hills, and it was really sad to see her go, but the good thing is that she's still going to be at West Hills, but she's going to be teaching Spanish instead of fifth grade, so she will actually be coming into our classroom when she teaches Spanish. She'll be roaming around, she'll be teaching K through 6 Spanish. Um, and I'm hoping that she'll love teaching Spanish even more than teaching 5th grade. So that leaves the 5th grade spot open, and we're interviewing. It's gonna be a hot one today. About a hundred degrees in Portland. Now, if I was actually the one being interviewed, I would probably wear something nicer. I'd definitely wear a tie. But <laughs> since I am on the interview team, uh, button down shirt, cargo shorts, it's better than a t shirt and running shorts, right? Hmm. Okay, whoa, it looks like. A uh, lot of my furniture got moved without me knowing. Um, last week the carpets got cleaned and I think this week the tiles will be waxed throughout the building. So I think they moved all my stuff because they wanted to make sure that it was clear for waxing. Which will be awesome and that's not a problem, I just need to reorganize all this stuff. So I think I will set up my tables today. Okay, pretty much done. I might adjust a little bit here and there with how they line up with the spacing. With this spacing between this table and this table might be a little too much or too little between the standing table. I'm actually going to be converting this table into a standing table. Last year I had a plastic table that was foldable and I wanted something a little bit more solid. So I wanted something that was wood and smooth. The plastic table that I used before was rough and porous and not very good for drawing and writing on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 4 by 4s This is just a practice one. One and a half to two feet long and I'm going to drill a hole here so that the leg can go into it and then raise it up like it's on stilts. So I need to measure that out a little bit later. Oh, here's my dining room table all set up and ready to go. I'm really excited about this table because it looks just like our dining room table, even with the chairs and everything. Um, like you're going to have a nice meal there or something. Um, but instead, learning, learning. Learning, learning. <laughs> I went to Ikea and got our notebook boxes. I'm going to set these up probably a week or two before school starts. Got my pencils all ready to go. I got to write student names on those. Okay, so now that that's done, I got to prepare a little bit for the interview and I'm going to print out a few materials. And I need to write down a few questions that I had thought of on my ride to school this morning for the interview. Um, so I need to write those down so I don't forget. Oh. 
Well, the interview's over, and it went well. Um, I must say, though, it's very strange being on the other side of the table, being the one doing the interviewing rather than the one being interviewed. I've been interviewed by so many different schools when I was a new teacher. Now, being on the other side of the table, actually asking the questions, uh, it's a new experience, and I don't think I'm very good at it, but uh, that's only the second time that I've ever been on a, on a team that's interviewing someone. But it was really interesting. It was really fun, and uh, she seems like a great teacher, and uh, I hope it works out. I was thinking about as I went for a run this morning was about the solar eclipse that's coming up. Now I heard about the solar eclipse about a year ago and I've been so excited about it ever since I heard about it. For those of you who are not in North America in the United States, if you have not heard about this, this is a pretty big deal. The last time that we had a total solar eclipse in the United States was in 1979, so way before I was born. I have always been fascinated with space and I've always loved science and the solar system and knowing how unusual events like these are, I knew that I wanted to do something special for it. So since it happens to be passing through Oregon, um, not too far from where I live, I live in Portland and the solar eclipse is actually going past Salem, just about an hour south of us. So my plans to see it is I'm going to go backpacking with my dad and we're going to go out in the, in the forest around Mount Jefferson, which is east of Salem. We're hopefully going to find a campsite where there's no cars, no traffic, not very many people. Um, but from what I've been hearing in the news is that there are going to be millions of people who are going to be trying to check out this solar eclipse. So hopefully if we're out in the middle of the forest, we won't see as many people and we won't get caught up in traffic that much. We're gonna backpack in two days early and we're gonna camp for two nights and hopefully find a good spot to view the totality of the solar eclipse because based on the path of totality, that site that we picked is gonna be right in the direct path of the shadow. So those are my plans. I'm curious to know what other people are doing what other teachers are doing. Uh, for me, this is before school starts. My school doesn't start till after Labor Day. I know some teachers start classes in August, and this is actually gonna happen on a Monday morning, and I'm wondering what teachers are gonna do with their class. Are they gonna take their students outside? Is your principal or are other teachers planning something for the whole school to view it? Maybe out on their field or on their playground? What are you doing as a teacher? What is your school doing for the total solar eclipse? If you could write down in the comments below what you're going to be doing, I would really be interested because I think this is such an awesome educational opportunity. I'm actually going to be vlogging during that time as I'm backpacking with my dad. So I think that I'm going, so I'm going to make a video and then I'm going to replay it for my students once school starts. And I actually teach a space unit in my fifth grade class, so I am super excited to show them my solar eclipse vlog when I am going to be teaching the space unit. So I'm looking forward to that. I've been doing my research. I've watched Destin's video from Smarter Every Day. He has a great video talking about solar eclipse. All the details of what is important and necessary to know when you are watching. I have never experienced this before, so this is all new to me. So. I wanted to make sure that I was as well prepared as I could be. So anyway, I hope that you can tell that I'm excited and and I hope you're excited too. This is such an unusual, rare event, especially in the United States. It's going from coast to coast, from the Pacific coast all the way to the Atlantic coast. And so many people are going to be participating in this. I just hope so many teachers are prepared. So it'd be great if we could have a little conversation in the comments below. Um, or if maybe some other teacher YouTuber wants to make a video on how they are going to prepare for the solar eclipse, I would love to hear it. I encourage you to think about it if you haven't already. If you want to watch Destin's video or a whole bunch of other videos, what I did is I put a list of a whole bunch of links to great videos that I've watched 
down in the description box below. So check those out if you're curious about learning more about the eclipse. When you think about it, it's just so unbelievably amazing how the sun is going to be blocked out by just a little rock floating in space. The moon is so small in comparison to the earth and even so much smaller in comparison to the sun. And thinking about how just that tiny little rock is going to be covering up the sun's light and we get to be in the shadow of that, it's just so mind-boggling. It's gonna be so beautiful and spectacular, I just don't even know what to say. Um, I just hope it's not cloudy that day. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you had a good day, and I will talk to you later. Guys, Daddy, <gasps> What do you got? You have a smoothie? It's hot, huh? Smoothies are a good idea, Mommy. Did you have fun with your friends this morning? No. What? Just kidding. <laughs> Why are you wrapped up in a blanket? <laughs> you know it's like 100 degrees out there. All we've got is this little <laughs> fan here. Because it's cold. You crazy. Thank you. Cheese. Cheese. You wanna see? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs>